Greetings, my beloved masters of the universe. Today I come to you with some clarification of what has been happening to so many of you in recent days, and what will continue happening and why. This is highly important, if you have or will find yourself suddenly falling into a deep trance state, what is happening is you are being brought into the Creator's room, where you are meeting all the galactic beings, including the souls from Earth with whom you are making plans on what you will be doing going forward. Many of you are involved in making tremendously important decisions for the future of our planet and your own mission. That is what the channeling you are about to hear talks about, but I want to clarify that when you go into that room, you are actually meeting the souls that you will then meet in your physical reality. You are also receiving information about various endeavors that you are to do to help Gaia. Then in the next few weeks and months, most of you will find yourselves meeting seemingly random people, who will play very important roles in bringing your projects to fruition, however, these won't be any random strangers, because you would have already met in the creator's room and made this decision to work together. And all of this is happening now. Moreover, lately many of you, including myself, have been experiencing strange sensations and odd experiences, such as falling into a trance state for hours, forgetting how they've arrived home while out driving, being tired when there's no reason to be, experiencing heart palpitations, unrefreshing sleep with odd dreams of visiting places you've never been at, seeing many images of various geometrical patterns, and catching glimpses of various beings around you, seeing odd shaped clouds, hearing voices, increased ringing in the ears, irritability for no reason, sadness or extreme joy, etc. A while ago, when we were also going through a succession of portals, I made a quick ascension survival guide. Although it's totally normal what you're experiencing, it also can be alleviated by various remedies. All of this is a normal process of adjusting to new energies that have entered our planet, or rather, new energies that we have entered into. Because, starting with the August 30th portal, we have entered into a lineup of very important and powerful gateways which will unfold one after another in close succession within the next few months, and as we move closer to January of 2020, the frequency and intensity of said portals will only increase. We will begin to see the landscape of our reality shift tremendously. There is no going back to how Earth operated until that moment. 2020 is going to bring a lot of changes for every one of us. These changes will be monumental and radical. Changes that we cannot even fathom at this point, but each one will be guided step by step on what they need to do in order to walk the path of righteousness, benevolence, and adherence to your divine path, as our guides like to say. One thing's for sure. Our lives will never be the same again, and whilst certain things will be a bit uncomfortable for us to accept in the long run, looking back, we will understand exactly why they have happened and how incredibly blessed we were to have experienced them. Each of you who are reading these words, of course, is reading them for a specific reason, and that is to be jolted from sleep yet again, and for you to fully recognize that you are in fact an architect of the universe. We are asked to go with the flow and allow guidance to come through clearer and crisper. We are asked to let go, as we've been asked to do many times before, and to pay attention to our thoughts, restructure our thoughts, and allow only positive vibrations into our lives. I have spoken about letting go so many times before, wrote a book, many articles, and have put together a freedom journey. Karmic Release Online course to help all of you to let go, restructure your mind, and finally recognize how divine you truly are, and how important you are, how much you are needed and loved by all that is. Once again, everything that has been happening with you lately is normal, no matter how strange it may seem. Stay brave, stay true to yourself, be mindful of what you allow into your space, what you read what you listen to, whom you associate with, and spend as much time as possible in tranquility. 
even 15 minutes sitting still without doing anything, and letting your brain relax and let go of the day's hassles is enough to allow the transformative energies that we have been receiving lately to work their magic. Now having said this, here is a message that I have received. The time has come for you to recognize your divinity and all the sacredness that it stands for, for through the Taurus fields of your visionary selves shall you find the inner knowing and inner guidance. It is thus of uttermost importance that you hear the inner calling within, and find ample time in your day for quiet contemplation. For many portals of significant magnitude are upon you, and each of you is being brought into the Creator's room in order to yet again, have you assist in co-creating a new blueprint for your planet. And so, and thus, many of you shall find yourselves in deep altered states of consciousness where you shall be brought into the holographic room of the creators. And in said room of creation, in unison with other such souls, many decisions regarding your path and workings of your world shall be made. From said conferences if you will. Many decisions will be made about the future of your planet, for much is to unfold within the next few months of your earthly time. And as you move closer to your year of 2020, many new innovations in every sphere of influence shall begin to emerge, for the freedom of thought has indeed been granted by the Grand Commander of your universe, by the Galactic Central Sun that oversees your universe. For indeed the time has come to bring new innovations into your world, and whilst many said innovations may sound absurd to many of you, know that in the very near future, in the weeks, months and years to come, your planet shall find herself looking quite different. For the innovations that are afoot shall assist Gaia and all who dwell upon her to exist in harmony and unison with the natural forces of life, creation, and exuberance. For the decision to withhold said frequencies from your consciousness has been revoked, and the truth of innate workings of the universe shall begin to unfold on your plane of existence rapidly. And so, upon receipt of said frequencies of light, upon said contemplation, you shall begin to discover the true essence of that which you are. And said frequencies shall allow you to walk the new earth with confidence, benevolence, and might. And so, the information that is flowing freely onto your plane of existence, shall be brought through to the masses by those who are equipped to understand, decipher, and materialize said codes. For all the light codes, and we repeat, all the light codes that you are indeed envisioning in your mind's eye are not random images, but are, in fact, particles of creation, particles of manifestations and particles of architecting a new environment for all who dwell on your planet. A new environment that which you have been waiting for, for so long, can finally begin to manifest swiftly, rapidly, diligently, enthusiastically, phenomenally, beautifully. And the cascading landscapes of your reality shall transform from within to without, from inside out. For that which you think, that you shall be and bring through for all to experience. And hence, once again we ask you to be mindful of that which you speak, be mindful of that which you see and allow into your divine space of the architect, for indeed all of you are architects of your new realities. Stand strong in the unfolding energies that are coming your way, stay strong and be diligent to that which you have set out for yourselves, for indeed, your confidence in that which you are is the key to manifesting that which indeed shall be. Know that we are walking with you hand in hand and foot in foot, know that you can call upon us whenever you wish. We love you. We are with you. Goodbye for now.